Favorite 11 time, 11 questions, rapid right. fire, cricket and non-cricket. Let's see what you got. All right, Carl, here we go. Your favorite roommate on any cricket tour? Peter Petricola. Mr. Not Pepsi. even close. Why him? <laughs> I think he might have been my only room. I was only allowed to room with him. We, we had strict rules if I was to play for Italy. I had to be rooming with him. This is Taylor just for you. Your favorite restaurant on Lig in the street in, in Carlton in Melbourne? Tiamo. Again, not even close. Free publicity for them. I'm looking after them. Your favorite thing to do to pass the time on a long haul flight in and out of Australia to any touring destination. How do you how do you pass the time? I pass the time by sleeping. I I am not a good flyer, Pete. So I put I make sure I fill myself with certain tablets that will make me fall asleep. And Peter Petricola will make sure at the other end he wakes me up and gets me off safely. Your favorite cricket ground anywhere in the world that you've been to either as a player or as a fan? SCG, Sheikh Zayed. Oh, you got to pick one. Come on. You can break the tie. Sheikh Zayed. Loved it there. Loved the experience there. Your favorite cricketer of all time? Goodness gracious. That's put right on the spot there. Steve Waugh was my idol. I loved him growing up. I was waiting for you to say yourself, you're eligible. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Close, I thought about it. Your favorite non-cricket athlete of all time? Oh, there's so many. There's soccer players, the Divine Ponytail. Um, I don't know. There's Cody Ballinger's my modern day, you know, my modern day great at the moment. You know, he's the one I'm checking on every day. I wake up seeing what he's hitting and a buck 50 is still not getting it done. But um, say He's struggling, man. You, you might need to call him up and give him some <laughs> advice. Yeah. I know, I'm like, Mookie. Mookie Betts, Cody Ballinger. Your favorite place to eat out away from home on tour? I know you love your chains, but I'm going to get favorite place to eat on tour, Barasti. Where is that? In Dubai. Oh, in Dubai. That's bad from you, not knowing that. Nice little easy eatery in Dubai when you go there. But which, well, which part of Dubai? Is this in the marina or is it somewhere uh, else? It's down. No, nah, it's not on the, on the marina. It's down on the waterfront looking out to the palm. I think I know where I'm, you're going to go with this. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi guy? considering who you played with over the course of your career. <laughs> oh, I'll go Pepsi. No, I don't do sugar. I'm like Ronaldo, water. Your favorite pizza topping. And this is not an Italian question. I ask this for everybody on the show. Your favorite pizza topping. Yeah, that's, I was going to say, it's stereotyping. Oh, the margarita, like a proper, an authentic margarita, hands down. You are a proud member of the Kevin McAllister Home Alone Club. Cheese pizza, <laughs> margarita all the way. I love it. I'm a, I'm a card carrying member myself. <laughs> Thank you. Favorite movie of all time? I'm not a big movie person. No, I'm not a good. I've watched The Hangover the last couple of nights. Is that does that count as? That is a movie. movie. I don't know. It counts. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I don't do. I'm not. A, I wouldn't say I have a favorite movie. Sorry, I know that's not helping you. You're a fast eleven, but we'll, we'll go with The Hangover. It will. It'll be acceptable. Last question, your, your favorite show to binge watch when you're stuck in oh. quarantine or stuck somewhere else? Yeah, without it being uh, a Ted Lasso I'm into at the moment, uh, what, loving that. Like if I'm just putting it on though, I'm still going for Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Seinfeld. That, that gets thrown on when I need to relax. If I don't need to watch something, they're the two that go on. But then, you know, you've got your, all your serious ones like Ozarks and all those types of things that come out. But yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine going on any time I need to just have it on in the background. That's on Peralta and the boys. You, you veered off the stereotype path. I was waiting for you to say The Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, that was there. a long time ago. I did enjoy that. <laughs>